Hello, it's Katie from It's a Witch's Life. I was in a discussion with um, some people on a Facebook group that I belong to about a Lenormand deck that I just recently purchased, and it's uh, the Fairy Tale Fortune Cards by Liz Dean. And it says 36 enchanting cards for divination and insight. It comes in this little hard box with this little white thing that keeps it, it's supposed to keep everything separated, but it doesn't. And then it comes with this book here. It's a pretty thin book, comparatively speaking. So. Okay, so there was some discussion about how the cards are really um, cumbersome, and I will give you an example here. I'm trying to see. I feel like I just saw the man card a minute ago. All right, so this is the man card here, and this is the man card from the vast deck, or the ass deck, however you want to um, compare it. Anyway, so you can see how the cards are huge, huge compared to um, the normal size that I'm used to. And in a minute I'll compare it to a tarot deck so you can see um, the difference. But I have to get that out. I forgot to get that out. So anyway, um, someone said that I should post a video of how it looks with uh, the Grand Tableau. And I do the Grand Tableau as four rows of eight with four at the bottom. I happen to like that a lot. And, um, well, even if I wasn't using my cell phone, I wouldn't be able to capture it all in one fell swoop. It's actually, uh, because they are a huge deck, it takes up a lot of space. But that's actually one of the things that I really like about it. I like the fact that it's big. Um, you know, it is a big deck. I do agree that um, the cardstock is a little flimsy, and they do easily bend, but I think if you take um, care in how you shuffle, that should not be a problem. I don't, you know, if you were one of the shufflers who likes to do the bridge method where they all flip, that might be a problem. If you like to slide them, that might be a bit easier. Or even just, you know, like a corner shuffle type thing might be best. So anyway, um, well look at this, I didn't even know this. This is just, you know, I shuffled the cards and threw it down and the fish landed in the house of the fish. How neat. Hmm. So, um, let me just give you a couple examples of the cards, and as you can see, each card comes with a little thing written on it. It says, for the letter, this says, the letter brings news, look for its meaning. So, Maybe if this were to be a reading and you were to use her meanings here, it could mean uh, a letter about some sort of secret or something that's hidden, um, some learning that has to do with money or finances. And the fish, she says, is money, luck, and creative flow. So this might have to do with creativity, maybe... Um, Someone, for me personally, I just started bookbinding, so maybe this has to do with someone sending me an email about bookbinding and making them an offer. Or making me an offer, rather. Um, I'm trying to look and see some of the ones that I do not agree with. Uh, the Tower is a good example. I generally read The Tower as... Um, as isolation depending on the circumstances and I also read it as an institution you know maybe such as the judicial system 
Um, it could also be something sort of like a, like a college institution or something like that. Let's see what other ones I don't agree with. Um, hmm. I'll let you look at some of the other ones as I'm looking. The lily is something that I don't agree with. This says a lily, the a flowering of your working life. I do not view the lily in that way. I view the lily as maturity, but also depending on the cards around it, it could also have a sexual overtone or undertone. Um, the birds, I usually view, I mean, it can mean gossip, but to me that means just talking, communication, verbal communication. Let's see if there's any others. Anyway, so if I think of anything, I'll come back to it. I like the backs. I really like this sort of retro style artwork. Retro is something that actually really, like the patterns themselves really, really fascinate me. So this deck, like the flowers there, like the pattern behind, I love that kind of stuff. And the pattern behind the lilies I really like. So to me, and ooh, specifically, a sort of greenish color for the bear behind him. I really like that. So let's give a little example of like what the book contains. Um, they talk about how to work with the book. Attuning your cards and caring for them. Developing your intuition. This shows you, it's like a visual um, table of contents. They give you some spreads. This is the three card reading, past, present, and future. Now this is obviously not going to be relevant for those who um, believe that the Lenormand needs to be read in pairs. The week ahead. The year ahead. Reading using a significator card, and I thought that this reading in particular was kind of fascinating, so I'll just let you take a glance at that. Maybe you might want to adapt it to be more to your style. And here's the master method that Caitlin was talking about. Um, it sort of goes, each house has... A, uh, you know, it goes about the houses, but it's completely different from what I would read for the Grand Tableau. So now it talks about the cards and their meanings and their stories. So let's just read one. Obviously, there is the uh, first card is the rider, traditionally, but this is called the horse. So the magic horse, and it tells you a little fairy tale. I'm not going to read that, but then it goes in and makes the tale relevant to the card, and I'll read that. In the tale, the horse is a vehicle for adventure and excitement. Just as the horse card signifies news and action ahead, the horseman or rider can also represent time. In the Russian tale of Baba Yaga, the witch, the white horseman in the broad daylight, and the red horseman is the golden sun, and the black horseman is the dark night. White horseman is the broad daylight, and the red horseman is the golden sun, and the black horseman is the dark night. I guess I had to read the story to make sense of that. <laughs> okay, so the meaning is good news, change, progress. Change and progress are on the horizon, and if you're reading this with a significator card, the woman or the man, and the horse is next to this card, then the news is coming from those closest to you. If placed further away from the significator, the news is coming from abroad. Surrounding cards give tone to the news, whether positive or negative, look out for messages. Then it goes a little bit into card combinations. And this combination with the letter means documents coming with the heart, 
news about a lover, with a child, news about a baby or child or new project. And with the book, it's a message that is delivered to you in a secret way. And it does tell you the playing card, nine of hearts. So it does make that, you know, for those who like to have your playing card inserts on there. And it just does the same format all the way through. And then it ends the last page with the cross. So it does go in order. Well, to the best of my knowledge, it goes in order. And then it just completes the book. So it's a short book. It's only 95 pages long. And it fits, you know, I mean, you could choose to keep it in a different box. But it fits in here. And then I just put the cards and drop them down there. And then they just live in this little box. Overall, I think that this is a very interesting um, deck. I can't say that I would necessarily use it in a professional reading if someone were to want a reading from me. But for a personal reading, I don't see why it is not relevant to you. So there you go. Um, I guess we could go through real fast and just look at each image of the card. I will not go in order, but I'll just let you take a look. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone stays blessed. Blessed be. After I stopped the video, I realized that I said that I would give you a size comparison to a tarot deck. Um, this is the Ghost and Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. It's the traditional size for a tarot card. I believe it's the same size as my Rider weight. So here you go. It is, it's big, you know, it's about um, a, a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around. If you were to put it in the center, I don't know, I'm really bad at length determining, but you know, if you were to put it in the corner, it's about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So it's, it's significantly bigger, so it's a big deck. So I hope this has helped, and for real, have a great night, and blessed be.